The Stroke Width tool gives you an on-document way of editing the pressure profile of any curve. The pressure profile can be found on the stroke panel and displays the current taper or width of the selected curve. At the moment, there is no taper, so the profile is level. If I select the Stroke Width tool from the Tools panel and hover over the curve, a plus icon will appear next to the cursor. If I click the curve, I can add a pressure point. I can then click drag the handles to increase or decrease the width and move it up or down the curve. I can also click drag on the curve to create a pressure point. And to quickly remove it, I can just double click it. I'll click drag along the curve to create a few more points. If I open the pressure profile again, we can see the pressure points I have just created and the taper of the line is reflected in the point positions. If I'm happy with the point position, but I'd like to adjust the width, I can hold shift to lock it in place whilst I modify the handles. If I'd like to move the points position without changing the width, I can hold control and drag it along the curve. If you want to set a pressure point to a specific width, you can hold control and click on the curve. A dialog will appear with an input field. I could type a value in or scroll with my mouse wheel on the field and see a preview of the curve in real time. I can also hold shift to change the value in larger increments or hold option on Mac, alt on Windows to adjust in smaller increments. There are a few settings to explore up on the context toolbar when the tool is selected. The first option allows you to lock the line weight. When enabled, the width of the handles is restricted to the maximum width of the stroke. When this is disabled, you can drag out the width handles beyond the current stroke width and the width will increase. The second option locks the order of pressure points along the curve. When disabled, you can move your points anywhere along the curve and drag them past each other, effectively swapping their order. If I enable this, they can only move along the curve as far as the next pressure point. Further along are some snapping behaviours. Toggling the first one will show or hide the nodes along the curve and allow the pressure points to snap to them. The next snapping behaviour allows you to snap to widths along the same curve. As you drag out the width handles, they will pause when their width becomes equal to that of other pressure points on the curve. So that was a quick look at the Stroke Width tool. Thank you for watching.